folks, welcome to Vector Calculus. folks welcome back to the next lecture of vector calculus let's go ahead and check out some more 3d surfaces but before we do that what are some of the surfaces we've already seen we've seen m&ms power plants and cones all right so let's see what we have today uh, we have this surface z is equal to minus x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared so first thing we got to do draw the x y z axis so here it is z y x so I'm going to have this be my x-axis, this be my y-axis, this be my z-axis. Okay, and let's go ahead and rewrite our equation over here. So z is equal to negative x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. <coughs> so let's see what this gives us. So what should I do? I should take slices, right? All right, so let's first start by taking a slice of the x-y plane. All right, so if I take a slice of the xy plane, I know what variable I got to fix, and that's z. Set z to be 0, take this term out, pop it out, and what am I left with? Well, assume that a and b are both 1, and what I'm left with is 0 equals minus x squared plus y squared. Move around the terms, and you get 0 is equal to y squared minus x squared. And what is that? That's a hyperbola, right? Isn't it a hyperbola? I think it is. Okay, that's good. But what type of hyperbola is it? Is it a side to side or up or down? Well, to figure that out, we're wrong. That's completely bogus. This isn't a hyperbola because this is zero, right? So what is this? This looks like just nothing. It looks like a point on the origin for God's sake. So this is just nothing, nothingness. Okay, so let's move on to our next cross section. I'm taking a gamble here because that's what I think it is. It looks just like a point. But let's look at our next cross section on the xz plane. And to look at that cross section, I know what I gotta do. I gotta fix my y, my y variable to equal zero. So take this term, pop it out, and what I have left, I have z is equal to minus, I have z is equal to minus x squared. Well, what is that? That's just a parabola. That's just a parabola. Z is equal to minus x squared is just a parabola, right? But what type of parabola is it? Well, it's an upside down parabola. It's an upside down parabola. And where is it? It's on the xz plane. So come over to the xz plane and draw an upside down parabola. I think this is the first, you know, 3D thing I'm actually drawing nicely. So that's good. Okay, so that's the xz cross section. That's the yz cross section. We're just left with the y, uh, yz cross section on the yz plane. And to find that cross section, I know what variable I gotta fix. And that's the x variable. Fix it to zero, take this term, pop it out. I have z is equal to y squared. z is equal to y squared. And z is equal to y squared, what is that? What is that? Well, if you come over to the yz plane, come over to the yz plane, that's just a parabola. That's just a parabola. So what are we left with? We're left with this kind of double napped parabola. Well, if you think about it, what does that tell you? What, what does that tell you? Well, this tells you the cross section on the xz plane is a parabola. The cross section on the yz plane is a parabola. And the cross section here, the cross section here when we fix zero, well, what is that? Well. That, that looks like a hyperbola to me. It would be a hyperbola. And so we call this a hyperbolic paraboloid. A hyperbolic paraboloid. Hyperbolic paraboloid. And that's it. That's what this quadratic surface looks like. It's a kind of a double napped cone, if you will. But in reality, if you actually start shifting some of the variables, what you'll see is that this kind of bottom parabola shifts. It kind of shifts left and right. So what you'll really end up with is a kind of a saddle. Have you ever ridden on a horse? You would know what this looks like, right? So when you sit on a horse, you actually have to put something on, your, on yourself, and that's called a saddle. And that's exactly what this shape is. It's a kind of a, 
it's a kind of a saddle right uh, that's a colloquial term for it nobody's gonna know what you're talking about if you say hyperbolic parabola but if you say saddle everyone knows what you're talking about it's just a kind of a a kind of a curvy a kind of a curvy shape okay so hopefully you can imagine that and uh, if you can't just think of a saddle that's all it is all right folks that's it for this lecture we'll check you out in the next one ambition plus mko plus scaffolding you can learn it. we believe anyone can learn anything that's why our motto is memorization is a crime and that's why we partnered with brilliant brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to e equals mc squared barry science lab and brilliant is your mko and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.